Hello, friends and beautiful people. Hello. <laughs> we are at Layman's in Kidron, Ohio, and we thought we would bring you along so you could see some of the things they have here. Back in the day, we're going to walk while we talk. Okay. <clears throat> Back in the day, this is where the Amish actually used to shop. It's become pretty commercialized now, and uh, there's still some really cool things here. They cater more towards off-gridders and um, tchotchke kind of things, but we'll show you some of the cool stuff they've got here. We're going to go in. Hopefully, uh, there's not too many people and it won't be too bad to video. But hang on here just a minute. So this is what you see when you first walk in. Well decorated up for Christmas. We'll take you back and show you the stove area because that's one of the really cool areas. Hang on here. So this is the very shrunk down garden area that they have here. And as you can see, they do still have Amish made bee boxes. I'll try to go slow for you here. They have some pretty cool hand tools. I always check them out. Um, a lot of those are Amish made and that part's not as commercialized as maybe some of the other things are around here. What's really cool, look what mama sees. These are all old sewing machines. Oh, I've got, so I've got the blue one that's on the second row down, the fifth one over. I've got the red one that's diagonal down beneath it on that shelf. And I've got the tan one that's the third one from the end. <laughs> so they've got, um, one of the cool things you'll see as you're walking around is they have a lot of antiques. It's kind of like a museum going around the uh, upper walls. The really cool ones though are up in the, uh, the stove area. And this is headed back there. So this is uh, back like the camping area and manly tools. Let me um, pause you for a second. So these are the uh, camp stove supplies here. And then they've got some of the uh, things that you would use over your fire pit. Let's check and see what their price is on clean heat. Um, a lot of times when I'm shopping here, like they've got $19.95 on the uh, Aladdin oil. The clean heat. I have to have the hubs look for that price. I don't see it. Let's see if they have anything that I don't have that I need. They do have a large selection of cast iron back in the kitchen area. All right, I do want to come out here though, because I want to show you up here. So all around this area is a bunch of old wood stoves. We're gonna go down the center aisle so that you can see it better. Bear with me here for just a second. There you go. And the selection's gone down a little, but they have all the pumps you need if you wanted to put a hand pump on your well. They've got all the gaskets. Hubs is such a great little tour guide, isn't he? <laughs> And this is just a little bit of a tool area. See the old ox yoke down there and some of the other old tools up high. Here are some more of the antiques going across the top. The Amish used to come here and be able to buy, uh, some ordnungs allow propane uh, refrigerators and freezers. And the Amish used to actually come here and uh, buy those and now it's really uh, it's it's commercialized although they are a very large wood stove dealer oh look at the size of ooh, so we bought for the Amish farm we bought a fan oh that one's for display only look how big that one is I feel cheated see if you see one that size no <laughs> I don't know if no he doesn't see one or no he's not going to look for one for me. 
But this area back here used to be uh, like your Pioneer Princess stoves and a lot of propane, more Amish, and now it's, um, well, they do have a Pioneer Princess back here. Let's look and see what the price is on them now. Here's a small version. They've got them at an angle, so it's hard for me to do with the camera. Oh. They just have a little Gulliver. They don't even have a Pioneer Princess. You see? Nope. No Pioneer Princess. And then these are all regular electric. They're just made to look retro. And then they do have composting toilets. And then they have stove supplies, vents, and things like that. Composting toilets. Let's see. I don't see a price on them. All right, let's put you on pause again. We have an anvil. Of course, it's for display only, I'm sure. But then here's a lot of the antique tools and things they have. I'm just gonna go around the top. More of the old stoves. You're fine. Here's something else I really love because they have a lot of brands of the old, including like the Stewart's of cane sugar, like root beers. They've really expanded their selection on this and you can actually buy one already cold if you can't wait till you get home to drink it. They have like quadrupled the size of all of this stuff back here. They even have Berry cream and blueberry cream. We've got kits if you want to make your own. All right, check this out. This is all hand carved. And then they have more old tools on the wall. And then the little tractors. Pops used to have a big collection of tractors like this. I wonder whatever happened to them. Think about how much apple butter I could make with that. That thing's like a hundred gallons. All right, let's check out the cast iron section and see if there's anything they have that I need that I don't have. We've even got the new colored stuff, but look, a lot of shelves are bare. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. I can't zoom out, so I apologize for that, but there's a lot of empty shelves here. And a lot of, look at this, this whole row here is empty. All the empty hooks. That doesn't bode well for me shopping, does it? And they have a lot of kitchen things like spatulas and pans. And unless it's something that's specialty, um, their price really isn't better. If I see something here that I uh, think I can't live without, I will usually check and see if I can get it cheaper online. That being said, when we get back to the lamp section, I'll show you what I found there. Now this is something that Mama wants. And they're only $30 a piece. Hmm. This used to be one of my favorite rooms. If you want to see how commercialized they've gotten. Whoop. They used to sell, um, I, one year I got punched tin Christmas ornaments back here. And I absolutely love them. And I haven't been able to find them anywhere since. You know I'm going to go back there and check though. Alright, so now we are in the lamp area. If you go back there, there's actually a, a museum of a lot of the lamps that Aladdin has had over the years. But they've got parts for them, they've got globes. We saw that they carry the, uh, the fuel. This is not the place to buy the fuel though. Mm -hmm. 
We have some that hang, some that are wall mounted. We have indoor gas lights. Hubs is over here looking for another lamp like we had got before, but online it said they were out, so we'll see. Well, this is part two of the video. We accidentally hit the wrong button. So they do have, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, fewer hands. There we go. Clean Heat's 1995 here. They've got the lantern cookers. They've got the same ones that you can get at Myers and Walmart. And then back here, they have all of the pieces and parts. Where you can buy wicking individually, or you know, you can buy it by the foot. And they've got all kinds of different globes. Those are so that you can mount the uh, globes on the top. They've got all of the uh, hurricanes. And they've just got whole big parts things of everything from collars where you can convert a lamp to electric, which we would want to do just the opposite. And then back to the uh, commercialized stuff here. This is their candle making area, which is pretty scarce. Uh, they don't carry the eco wicks which are the ones that I use, and those are the ones that are carbonless. And this is uh, their entire selection of essential oils. And then various uh, people do bring in their soaps and sell them here. And that's the clothing area. It's just, yeah, not so great. This is their soap making area. It's pretty sparse also. And that's mostly for melt and pour. Um, I don't even think they have any lye. I don't see any. They do have some molds. Um, I use the wooden ones similar to those on the bottom, but my husband made those for me. Back here we have some of the old style ringer washers. If you need drying racks. Uh, they've got the pulley systems for the clothes hampers. They do sell the ring masters and some others. They've got tub setups. They've got the off-grid uh, laundry things. It would take me forever to do my laundry if I had to use something like that. And this one is 136 And this one's $70. We've got the galvanized. Here's one of the old style lamps. We've got whole clothesline kits, which is, we got one that was similar, but it had the pulleys we didn't get this particular one. We have just different kinds of clothes racks. There's another style of uh, off-grid wash. And then they've got the borax and different kinds of laundry soaps. There's a little Amish lady coming, so I'm gonna pause. I love this setup. And then before we close out, I will show you. These are some of the, these are actually from lanterns. Some of the different styles over the years. So friends, I've got to do some shopping. But I hope you enjoyed our little trip. And until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.